Hi, my name is Cliff Hastings. This is a video to take a look at the bridge between Wolfram Alpha and Mathematica to take both independent tools and make a super tool for teaching, for research, for student exploration, etc. Let's take a look at Wolfram Alpha first. So with Wolfram Alpha, I can go in and type any sort of um, problem that I want to solve. For example, let's say, hey Wolfram Alpha, give me the integral of sine of x um, from x equals 0 to pi. And I don't need to know any sort of fancy language or uh, I can give Wolfram Alpha basically my interpretation of this problem. It'll figure it out for me, give some mathematical notation and in the answer, which is 2, and also give me this nice plot to visually show me that integral as well, which is super slick. So this is great. What I want to do in my classroom, though, for teaching is to go a few steps further. I want to actually show the concepts and understand the, the methodology behind this integration. So what we can do with Mathematica, then, is go from this concept or this definitive answer about this one integration problem in Wolfram Alpha and create a model. So my students now can move these sliders and see what happens as that lower bound increases to this integration. Or they can go backwards and say, what about the upper bound? What if that increases or decreases as well? What does that do? What does that look like? I also created some functions here to look at sine, cosine, tangent, and play with that as well. So what this is allowing is full student integration and conceptualization of the problem and not just to solve some uh, problems with Wolfram Alpha um, from ease of use to alpha to uh, exploration in Mathematica. Another problem mathematically we looked at here is doing uh, maximization problems. So I've done a local maximum of x to the fifth minus 10x cubed plus 30x. Wolfram Alpha gave me a nice um, result in visual representation of this uh, maxima problem. What I can do again in Mathematica is create a model. So we can say how the students move the coefficient from x to the fifth and say as a increases, what's happening to these maxima? Where do they equal each other on the y-axis? Where does the one on the left uh, actually become lower than the one on the right? etc. Click on local minimum and do the same sort of thing. So we can create some really interesting problems or conversations about the concepts with Mathematica where we started with the idea in, in solving a specific problem uh, with Wolfram Alpha. The great thing about Wolfram Alpha and Mathematica both is that although wonderful math and physics tools, they're terrific for other disciplines as well. Here's the basic mortgage problem I wanted to look at for economics. So I said, hey Wolfram Alpha, if I've got a mortgage of 150000 at 6.5% over 30 years, show me some information about that. So what it does, it shows me my monthly payments, uh, the mortgage totals, it gives me a nice pie chart to visualize the amount of principal versus interest I'll be paying, and also that monthly breakdown um, to show me over the years, my 30-year loan, how much I'll be paying versus, of interest versus uh, principal. It then shows me that table too. What I can do though in Mathematica is then create a, another uh, model for a student or a colleague, or if I'm doing presentations for a group of peers, for example, I can now move how much of the amount that I borrowed, um, the annual interest amount, and you can see the actual visualizations change dynamically. The amount of interest I'm going to be paying on this loan, um, the calculations of my monthly payment, uh, how many years are in this mortgage is going to change the, the percentage of principal versus interest, etc. So it really creates a nice tool to go from a definitive um, calculation in Wolfram Alpha to a more general observation or uh, teaching exploration in Mathematica. Two more ideas. I wanted to look at the unemployment rate in Africa, you know, a problem of sociology or statistics or international business, etc. And Wolfram Alpha, again, gives me some great data and information and visualization of the unemployment rate for Africa. What I wanted to do, though, is go a step further, not just look at some, some basics of this, but move to Mathematica to show me a model where I can actually interact with the data as well. So I can say, okay, here's the unemployment fraction for Africa, but now I can actually see what these countries are. So I can see that where Libya falls versus uh, the Sudan versus Uganda or Kenya, for example. I can also make a full model where a student can look at the poverty fraction versus unemployment fraction or Africa versus Asia or whatever data I want to use, I can create a full model for them to investigate uh, with Mathematica directly. The last example I have is one of GDP, and I'll show a couple more things here as well. So in Wolfram Alpha, we can say, show me China's GDP in 2006 divided by that of Japan's. And I get this nice result, and the history, uh, I get a graphic to show me that um, also. 
Now I can actually go ahead and do some other exploration as well. So I say, okay, I want to see the plot over the date range, which is here. But I want to actually go a step further and take a look at the plot of the countries individually and look at their performance over time. So here is that of Japan's, here is that of China's. So we can see that China has a slowly upward trend that actually peaks or actually picks up around mid-2000, while Japan had some dramatic growth around the 90s but then leveled off. So we can see why this relationship increases. Is it that of Japan greatly increasing or uh, you know, China's great explosion, etc.? We can get that from Mathematica. Now we can go a few steps further though and say, well, hey Mathematica, I'm actually interested in a lot of country information, not just that of Japan and China. Show me all of the countries you know about. So in country data, here is that list of countries. And then I can say, okay, I want to take a look at all the pairs and look at the ratio of GDP between them. So here's the first 25, but I want to see what those countries actually are. So I actually here uh, noted Afghanistan versus the first 25 alphabetically and what that GDP ratio is. So 0 0.89, 0 0.89, yep, 0 0.07, yep, 0 0.07, great. So I want to move on and actually now look at um, have Mathematica show me the countries the largest difference in GDP, which I get here, or conversely, what countries have the most similar GDP. So again, I can move from Wolfram Alpha to take a really interesting idea in a specific calculation I want to do. I don't have to know anything about it. I can just type it in and Wolfram Alpha figures it out for me what it is I actually want to look at. But once I get that those basics, I actually want to move then to Mathematica and do some much further exploration and visualization then uh, moving forward.